Hi and welcome everyone to the walk around video here at your next car, the 2018 La Paz Blue Mark 7.5 Golf R full motion. Vehicle is an outstanding example of the 7.5 Golf R. Comes with some, with some incredible factory Volkswagen spec, as well as being kept in a lovely condition, as well as some nice little added extras. As with all of our cars, it is physically in stock and is ready to be driven away. And if you would like to know more, you are, of course, welcome to use the links that are in the description box just below the video. But without further ado, let's get into talking about this wonderful example of this Golf R. You'll already be able to spot the superb, genuine option 19-inch Spielberg alloy wheels. They are in immaculate condition all the way around. Do also have the Falcon Aventis tyres which are all again in spot on condition in terms of their tread level behind them you'll spot the red brake calipers this golf r does come with the r performance pack so you've got slightly bigger brakes than a regular golf r as well as some other nice tweaks to it and as you can see the calipers themselves still look really really good indeed They've still got all of the decals and still look like they were only painted just yesterday up front, you get these nice little aero canyard additions. You've got, of course, the full R kit. So you've got the front bumper, the grill, the headlights are significantly different as well. The 7.5 obviously received that facelift, which it was vastly improved upon. The regular 7 Golf R just makes it look that bit more menacing. This one has got carbon fibre mirror caps, as you can see. Has got the glass panoramic roof which is a great addition to the golf r really is a very sought after option as well it has got P b pillar back privacy glass it's a great factory option which not only looks wonderful but of course does offer that level of the protection and of course privacy in the name round at the back we have got the otega rear spoiler as you can see has also got the golf r LED rear lights, which are a really nice looking thing as well. I really do like the Golf R rear lights. And then a huge, huge option for this car is the genuine factory option, Acropovic exhaust. This hasn't been added in the aftermarket. It was a genuine option for when this car was purchased new, as you can see, which is a lovely addition because unlike a lot of some of the aftermarket exhausts that you can get for Golf R's, it isn't tinny, it isn't rattly, it isn't too loud. When you just want it to be a normal everyday hatchback, it'll certainly do that as you can drop it into its comfort or even its eco setting and it'll be nice and quiet, nice and comfortable. But then of course, when the mood does take you, you can pop it into either its race mode or individual mode and it'll open up the valves inside the exhaust and give you a really, really nice audible noise. Boot space, of course, it still needs to be a practical car. After all, it is a Golf and it is the king of the hot hatchbacks. So as you can see, good boot size. It's also got the load liner in there to keep everything nicely protected. You've got folding rear seats as well. And if we go and shut that down and go round towards the passenger side, then we shall have a proper look and again, as you can see, the La Paz Blue, which, if we're honest and on the subject, is the colour to really go for when you are looking at Golf R. There is no other colour that matches this one for the sheer effect of a great looking car. Inside, it has got the full leather. As you can see, full black leather with the grey piping, as you can see there all of which has been kept in meticulous condition. And thanks to that panoramic roof, really does look very nice indeed. It's gonna feel nice and nice, nice and light, nice and open all of the time. You have got heated front seats as well. Really clean, well looked after example. DSG gearbox as well, again, the gearbox to go for. Let's go around and take a seat inside and just start the car up and go through some more features and functions of the vehicle then. You have of course got the signature R flat bottom steering wheel. It has got a set of the satin extended paddles, which are really, really nice. They aren't any of the plasticky type either. They are proper metal, so they've got a good quality feel to those. 
And there's me forgetting that this car does have a ghost immobiliser on it. So do give me one second. There is an added bonus for this car. Just point you over there for a second for obvious reasons. Bear with me one second. I do apologise. There we go. So again, as you've just seen and witnessed, that's what happens if you try and start this car up without the ghost immobilizer sequence entered. It will not start at all. So there is an added level of security that I was going to mention, but did seem to forget about. But nonetheless, there we go. We've shown it in action now. The car has called just over 45,000 miles. So it isn't even a high mileage example. It's pretty much bang on average for the car of this age and type. If we just okay that message about the lights and okay that, as you can see there, of course, we've got the lovely virtual cockpit, which is a really nice addition to this car. You can, of course, have multiple different displays on there. You can customise that to your heart's content. Got the lovely newer screen in the centre as well, all new layout for the 7.5. And in the centre, as you can see, you've got multitude of different media setups. You've got the App Connect for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as Mirrorlink. You have then got... If we go into the media, you've got DAB, of course. We have then got plenty of multimedia inputs, which includes jukebox, Bluetooth audio, SD card, USB lining. And then if we go into the vehicle itself and check the settings, you'll see the service status pop up. If we go down here, service. It's not your service for 19,800 miles and an oil change for 9,200 uh, 9, miles. It's got full service history, this car. And lastly, we'll go into the modes, select individual, change that. And as you can see, we have got the DCC, which is the dynamic chassis control, which is again, one of the, if not the most sought after option when looking for a Golf R. So there is a look around at this fantastic example of the Golf R 7.5 4 motion 5 door. If you would like to know more information, please go ahead and use the links that are of course available down below in the description box. But for the meantime, thank you very much. Do of course take care. Bye bye.